What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're gonna talk about something that a lot of people have problems with in newer cars, and that is codes pertaining to the electronic or drive-by wire throttle system. Those can throw a myriad of codes and can sometimes be a little confusing or difficult to figure out. So that's what we're gonna talk about today in this episode of Codes Explained. So when it comes to electric throttle bodies, this series of codes is something you will probably not have to deal with if you own an older car. If you're 70s, 80s, 90s, this isn't for you. Later 2000s on up to present though, electronic or drive-by wire throttle bodies have become increasingly common to the point that I would almost say the mass majority of cars that are being built right now are drive-by wire. The reasons I think that a lot of manufacturers have gone to this over traditional throttle cable setups are, there's probably a lot of different reasons, but one thing is it's much easier and it gives the computer more control over throttle and throttle response and throttle behavior, which is usually figured into the traction control strategy in newer cars, whereas in older cars, the best the computer could do is pull back fuel or pull back spark. This actually allows the computer to limit your throttle input or even reduce it in a case that it thinks it needs to. But regardless to why they do that, if you have a car and like my 05 Grand Prix has a drive-by wire setup, it is possible that at some point you will run across one of the dreaded throttle body codes. Now these you can have depending on what's going on. A whole host of codes and I'm not going to get into every single one of them but it can be literally anything from uh, P1121, P1122, P1276, P1280, P1285. I think you see where we're going with this but the two most common ones that you'll probably see are P1125 and P2138 especially P2138. Now, there's, you're, most of these are generic OBD2 codes, so they'll be the same for every vehicle. And I've especially seen Chrysler throw that 2138 code a lot. So let's talk about that one specifically, and that is voltage correlation. And what that essentially means is, in a drive-by wire setup, you have no direct control over the throttle at all unlike more traditional setups where your foot is literally connected by a cable to the throttle body and you can open and close it as you want. With a drive-by wire setup, instead, the pedal is a spring-loaded pedal that has a potentiometer in it that reads its position. And whatever you put that pedal position to, that gets sent to the computer. The computer says, oh, you want 50% throttle and presuming that you're in a situation where it thinks that's okay, it will then electronically turn the throttle to 50% or whatever. Now, there's two, and in some cases three, throttle position sensors that are involved in that setup. Basically, the computer can read the one in the car to tell what you want the throttle to be. Then it has another one built into the throttle body itself that tells it what throttle angle it's actually achieved. If these numbers don't match, it will throw the 2138 code saying that essentially that they don't match. So when you're looking at that, you're basically looking for, is there a signal missing somewhere or is there an incorrect signal on one side or the other? And there's a few different ways that you can go about doing this. And also it's important to note that on a lot of cars, the throttle values have to be learned and there's actually a calibration procedure you have to put a car through so that the PCM knows what angle is what in that sweep of the pedal position sensor. So that would be another thing if you, if it mostly is functioning correctly, but it's throwing that code, it wouldn't hurt necessarily to try a throttle relearn, but there's a couple things that are most likely to cause these problems. The 
primary and probably the thing I've seen the most to throw correlation codes is either A, the throttle body itself is gunked up and it can't move. It's actually stuck. That can happen. It can just have carbon build up or oils from the PCV system can gum it up and you can wind up with the computer just is commanding say 15% or whatever and the throttle blades just jammed and can't get there and it throws that code. So definitely a cheap and easy first thing to check would be the throttle body's insides where the actual valve is that they're clean and it moves freely. If that moves freely, the next possibilities is one, the pedal position sensor on the inside of the car could be bad or could be reading something incorrectly. Two, the position sensor in the throttle body could be bad. Three, the throttle body motor that actually turns the blade could be bad. So when it's trying to turn it, it thinks it's done it and nothing's actually happened. Or you could also, there are wiring problems too. And I haven't seen a lot of wiring problems. I do know there are some GM recalls for wiring harnesses that are in the floorboard for a lot of these. So once again, a cheap and easy first thing to check would be where the wiring harness plugs on to the throttle pedal assembly and where it plugs on to the throttle body under the hood. Make sure those are tight, clean, there's no dirt or anything in them. Look at the wiring on both sides, make sure nothing's been pulled loose or frayed or grounded somewhere. And provided that all of that is still good, then your highest likelihood is either the throttle body or the pedal position sensor. If you have access to a scan tool that can show you live data, you can pull up the throttle values and actually move the pedal just steadily from one end to the other to see what it's commanding. And that may tell you, because if you can move it from zero to all the way and back and you get a smooth progression up voltage and down voltage, then uh, odds are that's probably not what's wrong. Consequently, if you're pushing through there and it's going 20, 25, 30, zero, 45, then you've got a dead spot in that sensor. There's something that's not reading correctly or whatever. So if you get that far in it, everything else is working and it just looks like the throttle body itself is defective. They are on the bright side, usually pretty easy to replace. They're very all-inclusive. If the sensor in there or the motor that turns it are bad, most cars you can't buy individual parts for. You have to buy the entire throttle body assembly. It's usually three to four bolts depending on the car. One electrical connector, it's on and off. It's usually pretty simple. Just keep in mind that if you replace that or you replace the throttle pedal sensor, it would be worth doing to run it back through its throttle relearn because if it's either learned something incorrect or it's dumped some of that or whatever, it's just a good idea to run it back through. That is the majority of what you would need to know. While I've got you here though, let me make a couple announcements. First of all, new shirt designs are in the store and I finally picked this one up for myself. There's a couple other new ones too, so make sure you guys check out the Teespring store and uh, the shirts that I have on there. Um, don't forget about my Patreon, link down in the description. And uh, any other pertinent information on this, I'll have down in the description. Also, give this video a like, make sure you subscribe to my channel and that you've hit the bell icon and I will see all of you guys in the next one. And make sure you let me know down in the comments any other codes in particular you'd like me to touch on or do a video on and I will try to get as many of them as I can. Appreciate you guys watching. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much and peace.